That's got a big thumb for it on the it? Sweet. Cleaning up you. Something equally as cheesy. People can't drive. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking about um, a lot of people left comments after doing. I didn't do, actually do a Hemi video, it was just about perfect combustion and Hemis. Um, and a lot of people, it was just about com perfect combustion and you know. Uh, combustion chambers just to start off with and then we'll go into each individual one uh, the merits, benefits, pros, cons, whatever you want to call it um, but a lot of people said um, there's nothing wrong with Hemis Matt, you're a fucking idiot uh, just look at top fuel dragsters or dragsters full stop they all use fucking Hemis, there can't be a problem with them right then, so let's get this sorted out so I have here the FIA so there's two bodies, there's the uh, the National Hot Rod Association, that's basically the Americans-ish version of drag racing, and then there's the FIA and the FIM. So this is Federal blah, 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 something in fucking French. Basically the FIA is automobiles and the FIM is motorcycles. So basically these are the two governing bodies now because of drag racing started in America, the National Hot Rod Association has a lot to do with it and the FIA and the FIM basically deal with the official competitions around the world and set the rules. So here I have a big fucking, this fucking document, what page is this? This is page 31 out of 143. I'm not printing out all of it because a lot of it's just scrutineering bullshit and what kind of restraints, parachutes, fuels, etc. you are allowed to use or not allowed to use as the case may be. So I've been through this and it's in French, it's in English. Um, so I'm just going to read out some of the things and then we'll talk about why these engines and so on. So here we have top methanol dragsters and it says um, class weight, basically the weight of it, uh, non-supercharged single engine nitromethane. Um, it's with a minimum displacement of 410. 410, uh, that's cubic inches cubic inches um, oh, oh I don't know why I wrote that of cubic inches to um, 456 uh, inches um, fucking hell what's going on cubic inches so if you notice this is quite a small range here um, and it says the, the weight of the vehicle has to be a minimum of 900 and, oh, 2125 pounds uh, nitromethane is restricted to 97% maximum, other fuels like nitromethane and meth uh, other fuels, uh, fuels other than nitromethane and methanol are permitted because this is top methanol dragsters, obviously. Um, so it also says about the supercharger, it's allowed a maximum displacement. The supercharger's got a maximum displacement of 5 to 8 cubic inches. Uh, it then goes on to say the supercharger, single screw type. Ma maximum blah 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 blah. It goes on about all this that and the other. So that's just to give you a little taste of how this is going to cut down. Uh, cylinder heads, it's had a maximum now, so this is important. So valves. So valves, it says you're allowed a maximum of two. Well, <laughs> you can't really have a wall one valve engine <laughs> as a piston, you know, as a, uh, as a piston uh, four stroke engine. One valve isn't going to do you fucking very much. So you're allowed a maximum of two. So you're allowed a maximum of the minimum. Uh, per cylinder, a maximum of two spark plugs. So two spark plugs, that's not really important. The internal engine has to be an internal combustion reciprocating engine. A single camshaft. So you're allowed one camshaft. One camshaft. Automotive type engine permitted. That's the engine. The maximum bore centre of 4.840 inches. Uh, dry sump oil system permitted. OEM production line overhead camshafts. Camshaft engines are permitted. So you're allowed to have an engine that has an overhead camshaft if and it's only one overhead camshaft per bank 
if it was from the factory like that. Um, it then goes on, it must meet certain specs of F, uh, SFI, blah, 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 blah. It goes on about that. We've got top methanol funny cars. It's pretty much exactly the same, pretty much. Uh, cylinder heads, aftermarket billet heads permitted. Two valves per cylinder. That's all you're allowed, as per fucking usual. Um, top fuel dragsters. So now we'll get to our top fuel dragsters. So, this is for the top fuel stuff. The engine, it's uh, any internal combustion engine. FIA accepted, reciprocating. 90 degree V-twin. So it has to be a 90 degree V-8, not V-twin, idiot. A 90 degree V-8, it has to be. Automotive type engines permitted. Single camshaft only. Multiple or overhead camshaft configurations prohibited. So it has to be this, and it has to be single in block, basically. In block cam. It has to be. Right? There is no other way it says for top fuel. It is as simple as that. We'll get rid of that. We don't need that. It has to be. We'll get rid of that. Camshaft is a single in block variant. Right? It also says the maximum 500 cubic inch. Uh, a minimum of, <laughs> so that <laughs> it's 490 cubic inch to 500, that is all you're allowed, right, uh, maximum bore centre between 4, maximum bore centre spacing between 4.8 inches and that's it, maximum between cam centre line and camshaft centre line is 5.4 inches, these are very very specific, you know what I mean, maximum 2 valves per cylinder, we've got that again, only one cylinder head design is acceptable. Right, only one cylinder headline, uh, cylinder head design they can use. That's it, with an intake valve angle of 35 degrees. So now we've got our fucking combustion chamber. There's our intakes. That's our in. Here's our exhaust. Right, and this is allowed to be 35 degrees plus or minus. What's it say? Plus or minus one degree. So between 34 and 36. That's very, very specific. Very, very specific. There's fuck all you can do with that. And the valve uh, intake size has a maximum of 2. Point, oh, I'm going to write that down. 2.47 inches. Uh, exhaust angle here can between. 21 so it's 22 and 20 degrees that's all you're fucking allowed that's all they'll accept um, and again it has a maximum size that you can go to with that as well um, bore size the bore size of your cylinder right can be 1.8 at uh, 1.1875 inches right plus or minus plus or minus four thousandths. That's it. Fuck me. So basically what they're describing here without actually outright coming and saying it is that it, it's a very particular engine. It's basically fucking one kind of fucking block. Al uh, engine block must be forged aluminium and FIA accepted. The use of cast engine blocks is prohibited. Lightning of engine block is prohibited. Engine block must be uh, must be utilised, is that right, we're on the same page here? Yeah. Must be utilised per manufacturer's applications. Dry sump system permitted, blah blah blah. It then goes on to say forced induction, restricted to root splow type superchargers, rotor helix must not exceed that of a standard 71 series. Turbochargers or centrifugal superchargers are prohibited. Right, so basically they're saying it's one type of fucking supercharger. It has to be basically the helix angle must not exceed that of a 71 series GM style rotor. Uh, it goes on about fuel systems, injector hats. It just goes on and on and on and on. So, what does this give you? <laughs> if you've got all these restrictions here to do top fuel dragster racing, what options do you have? Well, you have fuck all options. And I'm sure actually it did say, um, it did say what type of engine it actually is. It was, a, it was a Chevrolet 
think it's a 428 or something shit like that. The block that you're actually allowed to use um, is either here or somewhere else. I did read it. But yeah, basically, you've got your, you know, it's like your intake manifold and what you're allowed. What's it say here? Panels may be installed with the front and back on each side. Only one panel per opening permitted. Doubling or tandem panels installation is prohibited. Basically, it's just going through how everything is prohibited. You know what I mean? It goes, the set, uh, accepted setback manifolds, blah, blah, blah. All other setback manifolds, prohibited manifolds, studs may be manufactured per FIA specifications. Refer to the uh, National Hot Rod Association Ratios.com for minimum requirements. It's just, it's just everything. You know, all the oil lines, what they have to exceed in pressure, what they cannot exceed in pressure. It's like your supercharger has to have a fucking Kevlar blanket um, over it. You have to have a fucking blast plate. You have to have this, you have to have that, you have to have all the other. So why? Why is it this way? Why can you not have cast blocks? Why do you have to have forged blocks? Why do you have to have all these things? You know, why is these engines Hemis? Is it because they're fucking brilliant? Oh, fucking God, no. It's because it's the only thing they trust. You've got to remember that these top fuel dragsters produce between anywhere between 8,000 and 10,000 horsepower. And they've been creeping up to this over time. Since the 1950s up until now, they've used the blocks that were available to them, the guys in America, using the blocks that are available to them. And the blocks that were available to them were blocks, the V8 blocks of America. And back then they were very, very simple. You know, two valves per head, generally most of the time Hemis. Um, you know what I mean? They basically um, started pumping these engines because, you know, Chrysler and uh, Chevy and fucking Ford and basically everyone who was un under the umbrella of GM eventually. Um, over manufactured these blocks, these blocks, you know, price wasn't really a, a thing, no one really thought about cost of like, um, you know, weight and all the rest of it, back then it was trying to make things, trying to get, build reputations like Ford were and all the rest of it, make the engines fucking bomb proof and that's what gives them the ability to push it as far as they can. Now if you go and get yourself a Ferrari engine and try and tune it to these 8,000 fucking horsepower ridiculous whatevers, it's not, it won't survive. <laughs> Because these are designed to with an inch of their lives, you know, they're thinned out of these blocks, they use the minimum they can to make the whole thing work. But the problem is, is that um, because these engines have been over designed, honestly, and because they have produced these powers before the FIM and before everyone else got involved, oh fuck's sake. So is there something special about Hemis? No, oh, God no. It's because. This dragster racing lark started in the 1950s properly and then people in America started to get serious about it and they used the blocks that they had at hand and they had, the blocks that they had at hand were 1960s fucking, you know, V8s and these blocks have been over manufactured, over designed because back in the day they didn't really bother, it cost, the engines didn't cost that much and these companies were trying to get reliability, you know, credibility through reliability and they just built the blocks as fucking big as they thought they should be. You know, they didn't optimise the design. And people started racing these blocks and pushing them further and further and further. That only got you halfway there. So just say about 5,000 horsepower. Then after that you start exchanging it for real, real custom parts. Forged fucking blocks and all the rest of it. And all these other parts. To, excuse me, nitro, methane, methanol, God knows all sorts. And that took you all the way up to your 8,000, 10,000 horsepower and all the rest of it. It's the only engine they trust, that's the reason why these engines are chosen, because people do and have pushed these engines that far, and they do survive. And uh, when they don't, and because you've got to remember it's been a gradual, it's been a gradual build up to this kind of horsepower level, when they don't we know exactly what happens, it usually drops out the fucking bot. You know what I mean? When these let go, usually a conrod and a piston fly out the side and hit the side wall or usually just drop out the bottom. But oh, so I say drop out, blow out the bottom. Um, and the, 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 the cylinder heads are so thick and all the rest of it is when you try and force a piston through it, there's too much metal there and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, if you made, uh, you know, you try to get a Ferrari engine to go that fast, now these engines are optimised to run at that horsepower, they would blow up. But not only would they blow up, they're unpredictable when they blow up. No one's done it before, 
So you could just fucking launch a cylinder head at a crowd or a couple of pistons, you know what I mean? Because they've been optimised and thinned down, you know, basically the FIA say, well, you're already running dragsters, you want us now to take control of, um, you know, the ruling. The ruling is, what worked before is where we're going to stop it, we're going to cap it there, that's all you're fucking allowed. There's nothing special about the Hemi, it was more about the time. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. There's nothing crazy about the Hemi. It actually puts great restrictions because of the valve angle. And as you can see, the FI and this is the FIA's ruling. The FIA's ruling is basically you're allowed one engine. <laughs> that is it. You know, that is it. There's fuck all you can change. Hope that makes sense. I hope that kind of cleared up for people. There's nothing, you know, people say, oh, in dragster racing they use Hemis. There must be something, there must be something great about it. No, it's simple and it's predictable and it's survived this long because they are well overbuilt. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.